So if you're looking to learn how to create a animated sequence or a walkthrough of a 3D world, I got the project for you. This is gonna allow you to create a 3D world with Cinemachine and use the Unity timeline in less than an hour to be a master at this craft. We'll first start by opening up a project, create Cinemachine and use the timeline, set up some virtual cameras, and then we'll animate the virtual cameras with the timeline and utilize the Unity recorder and export the video like you see here so that we're able to share it with the world and show the abilities that we're able to create with Unity. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this project started. My name is Steven Christian. I'm a medical student. I'm a STEM educator and I'm a visual artist. What I do is I tell immersive stories about black experiences in America. And I do that through comics and cartoons. And the purpose of my work is to not only educate, but entertain and empower those to overcome stereotypes and create opportunities for themselves. I go by the model create and conquer, which is creating opportunities that overcome stereotypes and bias. And that's what my work focuses on. Really decoding bias and combating stereotypes through the practice of art making and engaging with technology. And my work has been featured in the Wall Street Journal, it's been featured in HBO, it's been featured on Unity's platform, as well as social media sites and news stations. And with it, I really empower and educate and implore people to think beyond what is possible for them in hopes of inspiring others to do the same. Before we get started with the tutorial, I just wanna let you know about some things. As you know, I make a lot of this stuff available for free so that you can learn and level up your skill set, you know, at a very low cost. But there are ways for you to support me. First and foremost, I'm on Skillshare. And so go to Skillshare.com slash stuck on an island and follow me and check out some of my courses that I have there. I have all the courses you see on my YouTube channel and many more. You can also support me on Patreon at Patreon.com slash Iltopia. Here, you could have subscriptions that are monthly or yearly, and you get access to my Discord group and a lot of sneak peeks of things that are coming out soon from comics to new courses. You have a variety of tiers and stuff that you could support, so definitely check it out. You could go to shop.iltopia.com, and it'll take you to this wonderful page that allows you to check out all my books, coloring books, augmented reality experiences, plushies, toys, and many more. This allows you to support my work and any of the stuff that I produce and put out there. All the proceeds go to funding all these projects that I release out for free on the internet, as well as paying for medical school. Because as you know, I'm a medical student as well. Last but not least, follow me on all the social nets. So on lesson one of this project, we're gonna just set up our Unity project. We're going to open up the Unity project and import some assets so that we could get this whole project started. And the main thing that you're going to take away from this is just how to set up a project and how to import stuff into your project. And so let's go ahead and get that started. In this lesson, we're going to use the Unity Hub to create a new project. Then we're going to import our assets into it so that we could create our cinematic exploration of our 3D world. And so we're going to just have a new project. Again, we're going to make it 3D. And then we're going to call this Explore 3D World with Animation. Like that. Now that we have that, we have our new project opened up. Perfect. Going to create a new scene. And the scene will be called uh, 3D World Explore. That 3D World Explorer, I'll just open it up. We have that like that. And then I'm going to take my modular city, which I did in the 3D. Uh, how to build a 3D world in Unity course. I have this modular city, which is what we exported, we were able to create with that. And so if you wanna see how we made it, go ahead and check out that course. Otherwise, 
we'll just drag and drop that in. And it has all these things that we need. We're going to import. And ultimately, this is just going to be a prefab. So get that prefab called city container. And it says that it's missing a script and it's mainly because we need pro builder. And so I'll go to the package manager, go to unity registry. We need pro builder. I want to install that because that's how we made this. And if you have your own scenes, if you have your own 3d worlds that you've built, you can use those as well. So I have my city container, boom, it has everything that we need in it. And so then I will just drag and drop that in. And as you can see, we have a 3d world like this. Pretty easy, pretty simple, right? So we have this in here. Everything is good. And it's in the center, just like that. So we have our assets imported and we have our scene set up. And so now if you haven't already, go ahead and open up Unity you know, create a new scene. After you create that new scene, import your assets. Uh, and if you want to build your assets, you could do that as well. We're not doing it in this course, but import your assets, build your assets, build the world that you want, and then you can move on to the next lesson. Now that we have that done, we can set up a new project and import the assets and move on to the next lesson. And so again, if you need help or you need to review this again, Go ahead and rewind this video and head back to those timestamps that you need. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next section, which is going to allow us to set up our cinema machine and our Unity timeline so we can start animating. In lesson number two, we're going to set up our cinema machine by installing and setting up the package for cinema machine, and then we're going to use it with the Unity timeline. And so from this, you're going to learn how to add some machine to your project and integrate that into your workflow so you can create amazing animated sequences in the Unity timeline. So in this next lesson, we're going to uh, import Cinema Machine and we're going to use Timeline. We're going to start to set up our, uh, our scene based off of those two assets. So you go to the Windows panel, you go to Package Manager, and what you want is you want... Uh, to make sure that Cinema Machine is in. So download Cinema Machine. And Cinema Machine is just like the camera system so that you can make very nice timelines and stuff uh, and essentially animate everything. It does a lot of stuff for you. So we have that, and then you wanna make sure you have timeline in it. So once you have both of those, you go through and what I'll do is I will Get this here, there we go. And I will add a timeline. Boom. I'm gonna add that timeline, put that at the bottom, put this sort of here, this here, and yeah, we can work with that. And so now that we have our timeline, and everything in it, I am going to create an empty for same on machine cameras, and this is just to stay organized. And then I'm also going to create an empty for timeline. And so with it, I am going to create a new folder. This is going to be animation. And so when I create a timeline, I can go into my animation folder, hit the timeline animation, and then under timeline, we're going to hit create. It's going to make our animation timeline. So it does that in there. You'll see this timeline right there. Perfect. 
And so then we're going to have wrap mode be loop. And then we're going to have, we could do play on awake. I like that. And so to set this up, we want to make sure to have the frame rate. We'll have that be 24 frames per second, really like 24. And then you could have it be on frames or you could have it be on uh, seconds. It's up to you. Uh, this is what, 10 seconds or whatever. Uh, and that, that works. So now what we want to do is we want to set up some, some frames and virtual cameras. But before we get to setting up our virtual cameras, make sure to download Cinemachine, make sure to download Timeline, create a timeline animation. And then when you're already done with it, go ahead and hit the lock button, set up all your settings in the timeline for the timeline animation, and then create your folders. And then once you're done with that, we can move on to the next lesson. So now that you have that set up, you can go back to the video or you can follow along and install and set up the cinema machine to use with the Unity timeline. Again, if you need to rewind it, Feel free to go back to the timestamps, go back to the previous lesson if you need to. Otherwise, we can move on to the next section, which will allow us to set up our virtual cameras to be utilized in our Unity timeline sequence. In lesson number three, we're going to set up our virtual cameras. And so we're going to set up our virtual cameras in the Unity timeline so that we can animate some cool stuff. And with this, the whole purpose is to learn how to harness the power of virtual cameras using Cinemachine so that we can utilize them in our animated sequences. From this lesson, we are going to set up our virtual cameras on our timeline. And this is how we get to animate. So it's going to be pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, but the approach is all that matters. A little easier to navigate. Perfect. So anything that I see here is going to be available here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go to Cinemachine, and then we're going to go to virtual cameras going to have our vcams right there and I'm going to place it right in our Cinemachine cameras. And so then I'm also going to right click in our timeline and choose a Cinemachine track, hit this little dot, and this is going to be our main camera. And so now we could start placing our, our Cinemachine cameras anywhere that we want. And when we do that, it gives us an opportunity to uh, set up our set up our shots. So have that shot, make it a little larger. So we have that shot. Then I can just duplicate the cinema machine camera right here. And we could say we want to go down here, duplicate it again. That you want to make a turn. Like that. Duplicate it again. Say we could make a turn here. And you can use the 3D view to, to change things. Change your view and angle. We could go in between these two. So it's like the twin towers. So going in between these two towers. Like that. Make another one. this on this right here for a little bit. So say we just like do a nice circle around a needle. And then we 
go up. We're going up, we could come back down. I don't want to show the edge. I want to come down, but like that. that and then what if I wanted to just go down this this road so I want to go down this road straight but have it do like a 360 so we'll have it A 360. Then three sixty turns into kind of a lift off. interesting way. Like that. And then Ender like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll do one more. Fifteen shots. Fifteen different shots. Yeah, 15 shots. So with our 15 shots, now that we have all the virtual camera stuff set up, we're just going to add these shots, all of our shots, to our cinema machine. Like that. So as you can see, this is 73 seconds. 73 seconds. And when I go through and I scrub through the timeline, from just dragging and dropping these down, you scrub through this timeline and it just automatically cuts from one to the other, right? And so the thing that we need to do now that we set up our shots is actually uh, smooth these out. And so before we get started with that, go ahead and create all of your Cinemachine cameras, put them in a folder to keep them organized, create a send machine asset or track in the timeline and make sure to add your main camera to it. And you can just do that by dragging and dropping or hitting the button right there. Set up all your cameras, right? I have all my different cameras here. I'm going through this whole 
area, right? And then from there, drag them all down into your cinema machine track. And once you finish that, we're going to move on to the next lesson. And so now it's your turn. Go ahead and set up your virtual cameras and the timeline to animate the animated walkthrough sequences that you want for our projects. And if you need to go back to the previous lessons or you need to rewind this, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next section, which allows us to animate virtual cameras on the Unity timeline. And so we'll go ahead and move on to that. Lesson four is all about animating the cinema scene track. So we're going to create and edit a cinema machine track and allow our virtual cameras to move frequently. And the purpose of this is to learn how to utilize the Unity timeline with Cinema Machine using those assets to create smooth camera animations. Okay, so this lesson is going to be us animating our Cinema Machine track on our timeline. And so we don't really need to do anything with the um with the actual cameras because we already have everything set up. Really, we're just going to be working in our Cinema Machine track right here. And so what we're going to do, we already have our first track. We're going to just literally overlap it. And we're going to say this is going to be a 830 second animation. So we're only going to go to here. That's the goal. So what we'll do is we'll start off by having this here. Then we'll Overlap this one, overlap this one, overlap this one, and we're just overlapping. So just dragging over and overlapping it. And it looks like because of all the shots, we are actually going to have less or have more than 35 seconds, which is interesting. And so one of the things that we can do is if we want to loop it, we just start from the beginning and so we'll just copy or duplicate that the first cam and we'll just duplicate it like that and then trim it at the end. Trim it at the beginning. So then have all these and we'll just move this to the front like that. And so we have our timeline, we have it at loop, and we have it looping, just like that. Because this is cam two. Like that. So now let's have a look at it. and back to the top and then it loops again just like that and so you'll notice that there's all these uh it sort of starts and stops and it eases in and eases out right and so what you could do is with the blend curve because this controls the animation you could double click or you can make it manual and you could turn that into a linear and we could do that with all of them actually so make those manual, make the manual blend curves. We go through and just have it be manual for that one. Manual for all of them, really. 
So boom, boom. And you're essentially just doing this all the way through. So you can make this a little smaller. You can make this second one a little more robust, like that. You can make this one a little longer. So all it does is zoom in, zoom out. So here, I don't want that ease in, ease out to be too bad. And you could, and you could test this out too. To get to here, I want it to be, still want it to be pretty smooth. Now I want the spin to be pretty smooth. Now, let's check it out. Yes, that is really smooth. And then back to the top. So like I said before, uh, go ahead and overlap these. We're just animating our uh, timeline with these assets. And if you want it to be a little smoother, just change the blend curve to manual for each one of these different uh, clips, and then uh, choose the right uh, curve editor for it. You could choose a variety of different curve editors for them. So you could do ease out, ease in, uh, a variety of different ones. All right, so if we do the, we do the ease out, just like that. And so go ahead, play around with the timeline, play around with the blend curves, try to make something nice and uh, nice and smooth. And then once you have that done, we can go ahead and get on to recording our video. And so now it's your turn. Use the Cinemachine tracks to create smooth camera animations with your virtual cameras. And if you need to go back to the earlier parts of this lesson, feel free to rewind and look back at it. If you need to look at previous lessons as well, Feel free to do so. Otherwise, we'll move on to the last lesson, which is using the Unity Recorder to export videos so that we can share them on social media. We are back with the final lesson, lesson five. And so with this one, we're going to learn how to export video, use the Unity Recorder to record and export video for our sharing. And the goal with this is to learn how to create and export video files from our Unity timeline. And we're going to utilize those wonderful features to do that. And so in this lesson, now that we have our walkthrough for a timeline, we need to export out a video so that we could show people. And so what we'll do is we'll go to the package manager and we're going to have to find the Unity Recorder. In order to do that, you go to the package manager under registry and you'll find the Unity Recorder right here. We'll just click install. Now that we have that, we'll go through We'll create a new uh, recorder timeline track. So recorder track, 
And so what this is going to do is we're going to, whatever is in this track, when we hit play, we're going to create a, a track for it. And it's going to record it automatically. So we'll say add recorder clip. So right click and add recorder clip. And then we'll just make it the same length as our clip. Then we go to our uh, settings right here. And we'll say game view. We want this to be uh, FHD. So high definition, 16 by 9. Uh, want the quality to be high. And we have MP4. And I'll just save this to our animation. Save this to this folder. And it automatically makes the automatically makes an updated take number. So now that we have that. Let's actually just first test it out, see if it's going to work. And mainly this is just making sure that everything works according. Everything looks good. So now it's time to start from the beginning. We're going to hit play. And when it hits play, it's going to record our clip. This is real time rendering. And it is completed. So it's going to save our clip. And so if we go to our save clips right here, what do you know? Movie one. And so when I play it, here you go. This is our clip. And so using the Unity timeline and the recorder and Cinema Machine, we we're able to animate a exploration of our animation in our 3D models. And so all this stuff is native. All you need is really just a, a, you know, a 3D world to, to animate. And that's it. And so with a couple click buttons, uh, it works. And so with that, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and download the Unity Recorder from the Package Manager add a recorder track, right click and add a recorder clip, you know, move it and span it across all the stuff you want to record, test out the track that you have first, and then hit play, set up all your, your recorder clip settings, again, hit play, and then let it record. And voila, we have it. And so with that, we have our animated exploration for 3D World. With our last lesson, it's time for you to give it a shot and we'll bring this whole course to a finish by using the Unity Recorder to record and export video files from our Unity Timeline tracks. And so again, if you need to look back at previous aspects of this lesson, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we've made it to the end. And so create your video file, 
export it, and you'll check out the one that I have in the next video. As you know, I make a lot of this stuff available for free so that you can learn and level up your skill set, you know, at a very low cost. But there are ways for you to support me. First and foremost, I'm on Skillshare. And so go to Skillshare.com slash stuck on an island and follow me and check out some of my courses that I have there. I have all the courses you see on my YouTube channel and many more. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Iltopia. Here, you could have subscriptions that are monthly or yearly, and you get access to my Discord group and a lot of sneak peeks of things that are coming out soon, from comics to new courses. You have a variety of tiers and stuff that you could support, so definitely check it out. You could go to shop.iltopia.com, and it'll take you to this wonderful page that allows you to check out all my books, coloring books, augmented reality experiences, plushies, toys, and many more. This allows you to support my work and any of the stuff that I produce and put out there. All the proceeds go to funding all these projects that I release out for free on the internet, as well as paying for medical school. Because as you know, I'm a medical student as well. Last but not least, Follow me on all the social nets.